Now what I'm going to do with him, um, we have the, the new version, these are the snap-on combs, they're stainless steel snap-on combs, and they fit directly over a wall competition series 30 blade, 15 blade, or a 10 blade. So, and the reason we like the stainless steel snap-on combs is because they feed through the coat a lot better than, than your old plastics or a lot better than a blade. And the reason is they have so much space in between each teeth, it allows the blade to get down into the coat and you get a lot more cutting space. So this dog normally gets done with a 4 or a 4F blade. And what we found with the 4Fs and the 5Fs, there's so much metal on this blade and you see the teeth are a little bit closer together so as you're going through a coat like a Bichon poodle type coat it starts to push the hair down and you wind up having to fluff it up and keep going over and over it again. So we're going to do in place of the 4 blade we're going to do a number 4 with, which is a 1 fourth inch cut on this little guy here. So whenever we're clipping, this dog just gets a short, short haircut, it's just a maintenance cut. But whenever we're clipping a dog, I start out right at the back of the skull if I'm going to take this dog short. So I start right at the back of the skull. And my first line that I make with my clipper, I'm going to go from the back skull all the way down to the tail. Because I know this dog's getting the same length cut all over its body. Especially if you have a really thick dog, this allows you some cutting room. Once you get this hair off, you can kind of work your way from this, this point all around the dog. You'll notice I'm holding it like a pencil and just letting my wrist basically do the work. And you know, you know you have a, a, a clipper that's working correctly when it just glides through the coat like this. It's not leaving any drag marks. Um, most times if you're clipping a dog, a lot of your sporting dogs, you tend to get a lot of drag marks. And there's different reasons for that. If your clipper isn't running up to par, then, then definitely that's going to cause drag marks on the dog's coat. Um, also, if um, your blade isn't as sharp as it should be, that'll cause drag marks. And a lot of times if you're in a hurry and you're pushing that clipper faster than the, than the blade is able to go, that's gonna cause dra drag marks. So with the KM2, and, and this is just on the low speed, this clipper really has so much power to it that it really allows you to glide through the coat. And as you can see, it, it gives you a, a very nice plush finish. Now you can see what I'm doing is I'm coming around and this isn't a drop coated breed, this is more of a, a fluffy or a curly coated breed. So I don't want to come in and go opposite the direction that the hair grows. I'm trying just to follow the, the pattern that's on this dog. So I get the hair off the back, I get the hair off the body. I'll come in right here where Adam's apple is. This dog gets a pretty short face anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off underneath because they like them to be pretty short. Nothing extra on Rex. <laughs> now with these snap-on combs, they actually come in a kit and there's eight combs that come to the set. Now the nice thing, um, being one of the wall stylists, what they did was they actually brought um, all the stylists to the company. They gave us dogs to work on and they gave us equipment to play with. And the snap-on combs were, because they were metal, they were very different. They weren't, weren't anything that the industry had seen before. Once we actually tried them and were able to cut through a dog's coat and felt how nicely they glided through the dog's coat, we just thought they were fantastic. So we added a few tips. One of the nice things about is that they're color coded. So instead of having to hit the, the comb in just the right light or for us aging groomers that really can't see the numbers all that well, the color coding is fantastic. They have along the side of the case here, they have the numbers and the letters. The letters are the longer blades that are really good for doing legs. They have the number, the color, and the length that the blade will leave all right here, so they're very easy to pick up. Now, one of the things that you want to remember with the snap-on combs is they do require a little bit more TLC than the, than the plastic combs, but they're so worth it. Um, as Jay had said before, there's actually a lip on both sides, so these attach from all four sides, which is really a, a very, very nice feature because these combs will not pop off. So you can actually go through a tangled coat with these combs and they won't pop off. But the one thing you want to remember when you put them on, and this is with all snap-on combs, the first thing you want to do is attach from this back metal piece here 
here. This is a very thin metal, so it's very easy to bend and break. So what you want to do is you hook that in first. So once I have that hooked on the back of my blade, there's a spring action. I want to make sure that it's squarely lined up and all I'm going to do is just push it forward and let the blade drop, let the, the comb drop over my blade so it's sitting nice and square. And it's attached from here, it's attached from the front and from the back. So I can get through any kind of coat and it's not going to, well, of course we don't recommend you go through a matted coat, but it will actually cut through tangles. Now when you're taking them off, that's another problem that people are having because most times groomers are in a hurry and what they're doing is they're just pulling back and taking them off. You want to do the same thing. You're going to push that back part up so it releases in the front and then let it fall back off your clipper. Don't just bend it off because that's going to bend these little pieces here. So you want to be sure that you spend a, that little extra time, get yourself in the habit of when you're putting them on and off, you do it in a little bit more gentle manner. Also with these blades, the outside teeth on them are a thicker, um, a thicker metal, so they give it a lot more stability. But the inside ones, as Jay had said before, they're a little bit thinner and they'll go through every coat type. These will cut through um, a double coated breed, you know, some of your, your chows and things that get shaved down, um, where a regular four blade skips over that really thick, thick haunch hair, these snap-on combs will glide through. And that's why these have to be as, as narrow as they are, but they do bend easily. So when you're putting your clipper down, I hang my clipper up so that way it's not banging. It doesn't really take a lot for, to put this down and have the, these bend on you. So they, they do require a little bit more TLC than, than maybe what you're used to with the plastic ones, but they'll last you forever. They really have um, a very long lifetime on them. Now what I'm going to do with him, um, we have the, the new version, these are the snap-on combs, they're stainless steel snap-on combs, and they fit directly over a wall competition series 30 blade, 15 blade, or a 10 blade. So, and the reason we like the stainless steel snap-on combs is because they feed through the coat a lot better than, than your old plastics or a lot better than a blade. And the reason is they have so much space in between each teeth, it allows the, uh, 